Hey guys, in this video I want to talk about the real purpose of cholesterol, the heart killer, right? Well, not really. Let's talk about exactly what this cholesterol is. There's so much confusion. People are freaked out about it because they're, they're worried that it's going to clog their arteries. So they get their blood test and if it's high, they freak out. Let's just take a look at some facts related to cholesterol. Almost all of the cholesterol in your body actually doesn't come from your diet. It's not coming from your diet. Almost every cell in your body will make cholesterol. So the majority of cholesterol that you have in your body is coming from your own body. Your body makes 3,000 milligrams of cholesterol every single day. Your liver makes 1,000, the rest of the cells make 200, 2,000, okay? Now, that would be equivalent to a pound of butter or 14 eggs or 300 strips of bacon. That's a lot of cholesterol, right? Your cholesterol is on a negative feedback loop. So if you eat more, your body makes less. If you eat less, your body makes more. So here's the question you need to be asking. Why? Why does your body make so much if cholesterol is so bad? And by the way, um, LDL, HDL, the good and bad cholesterol, that's not really cholesterol. LDL is low density lipoproteins. It's a protein. It's a shuttle that carries cholesterol through the body. HDL is high density lipoprotein. That's a, a shuttle, a protein shuttle that carries cholesterol from the body. So HDL is the cholesterol coming from the arteries back to the liver and LDL is the cholesterol coming from your liver to the body. Okay, and they consider it bad. It's not bad. I'll put a link down below uh, talking about LDL a lot more, but I just want to give you some facts about the purpose of cholesterol. So why do we need it? Why is it so important? Because your cell membranes, 50% of the cell membranes in every single cell you have, it's like a trillion cells. 50% of those cells are made from cholesterol, okay? The structure of the cells, especially your brain and the nervous system and the myelin sheath around the nervous system. So what are cell membranes? The cell membrane <laughs> is permeable. It allows nutrition, electrolytes, molecules to go in and out of the cell. It protects the cell against microbes and foreign uh, viruses and things like that. So um, it allows electrolytes to travel. It protects the central nervous system, which is the brain and the spinal column. Uh, it, it actually is involved in making bile, B-I-L-E, that's the detergent that helps you break down the fats to actually assimilate the essential fatty acids and the fat soluble vitamins. So you need cholesterol to make vitamin uh, D to actually help make the bile that helps you absorb vitamin A and E and even K2. So these are all essential fat soluble vitamins that you need, but without cholesterol you can't make the bile to extract them from the food that you eat. Cholesterol is needed as a raw material precursor for adrenal hormones. So the more stress that you go through, the more cholesterol that you're going to make because the body uh, needs those hormones to adapt to stress. Uh, sex hormones. Estrogen testosterone is made from cholesterol. This is one of the reasons why statin drugs, one of the side effects is men, they lose their um, libido. Women have problems with estrogen and progesterone and even androgens, so there's a lot of issues with that. Um, your, the cholesterol is there to make myelin, so there's even um, another video that I, I've just released has to do with MS in the relationship to dysfunctional myelin, which is the lipid layer around the, the nervous system in the brain. And if you're actually on a low cholesterol diet, you can worsen that condition. So the cholesterol also is there to feed the immune system. Your immune system needs cholesterol to function, partly because cortisol from the adrenals is necessary for the immune system. It controls the white blood cell. Um, and then also cholesterol is needed to fight infection and to uh, combat the toxic effect from bacteria. L One of the purposes of LDL, the so-called bad cholesterol, is to, and I created a whole separate video on this, is to uh, neutralize the toxins from bacteria in the cell. It's always considered the, the bad guy, but it's really, yes, it's at the scene of the crime, but it's really there to actually heal whatever is there, like a lesion or some type of ulcer. 
And so people mistakenly assume that's the bad guy when really it's the good guy trying to heal. And you should just say, why, if your body um, makes it, why would it be considered a bad thing? People never ask those questions. So changes of season. During the winter months, the cholesterol goes up because it's, you're actually trying to make some of these hormones to adapt to the, the change of uh, season. Also during stress and surgery, your cholesterol goes up to make more cortisol. But I just wanted to put this video together to show you that um, that's the real purpose of cholesterol. It has a purpose. And anytime it's high, you have to ask why. Why is it high? Rather than just automatically bring it down with some drug. Okay? Thanks for watching. Hey, you probably already subscribed, but if you haven't, press this little button down below and I will keep you updated.